Welcome to Children's Liturgy of the Word. It's the Easter season and we sing Alleluia. We are going to begin with the song, Alleluia, Love is Alive. joining us for the second Sunday of Easter. We are about to enter a very special place. It is a place where we will get to know God more and bless us and we'll pray for one another and we'll get to know Jesus more than we already do. I will now lead you in with the cross. Good morning. So I'm Shelly McGuire, and this is Carol. She'll be doing the gospel reading. And happy to this, you know, to the second Sunday of Easter. Let's start off how we always start off our um, children's liturgy. We always start with the sign of the cross. And in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As you can tell, we have our white tablecloth still. What are we? What are we celebrating? That's right. We're celebrating. Jesus, and he is risen. That's right. So we're in the middle of Easter season. And I would like to show you the church here. So Easter season is actually a very long time. We're getting to celebrate the most wonderful miracle ever, and that Jesus had rose from the dead last, um, last Sunday is what we celebrated. So we're just kind of at the beginning here of our Easter celebration season. We also have on our altar our, who is this? Jesus, that's right. He is our good shepherd. So we're like, we're his sheep. Okay. All right, I want to welcome Carol for the gospel. Okay. All right. There's a couple of things that we always do before we hear the gospel. Do you remember what they are? Yep, you always remember. That's right. We light the candle. And why do we light the candle? Because Jesus is the light of the world. That's right. And do you remember the special way that we make the sign of the cross before we hear the gospel? Remember, put your thumb up. That's right. God, let me think your word. God, let me speak your word. God, let me love your word. All right. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The disciples were afraid of the Jewish leaders, and on the evening of that same Sunday, they locked themselves in a room. Suddenly, Jesus appeared in the middle of the group. He greeted them and showed them his hands and his side. When the disciples saw the Lord, they became very happy. After Jesus had greeted them again, he said, I am sending you just as the Father has sent me. Then he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, they will be forgiven. But if you don't forgive their sins, they will not be forgiven. Although Thomas the twin was one of the twelve disciples, he was not with the others when Jesus appeared to them. So they told him, we have seen the Lord. But Thomas said, first, I must see the nail scars in his hands and touch them with my finger. I must put my hand where the spear went into his side. I won't believe unless I do this. A week later, the disciples were together again. 
This time, Thomas was with them. Jesus came in while the doors were still locked and stood in the middle of the group. He greeted his disciples and said to Thomas, put your finger here and look at my hands. Put your hand into my side. Stop doubting and have faith. Thomas replied, you are my Lord and my God. Jesus said, Thomas, do you have faith because you have seen me? The people who have faith in me without seeing me are the ones who are really blessed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So it said at the beginning of this Gospel story that, that the disciples were afraid of the Jewish leaders. Why do you think they were might have been afraid of the Jewish leaders? That's right, because it was the Jewish leaders who crucified Jesus. So they were afraid, right? They were afraid that they might come and do the same thing to them. So they would just stay together. That's why the doors were always locked, because they were frightened. When you're sad or frightened, who do you like to be with? <laughs> yeah, your mom or your dad, your grandma, maybe a teacher, somebody that you trust when you're feeling kind of scared and lonely. Well, that's what the disciples were doing. They were helping each other through this difficult time. But then the most amazing thing happened. Jesus just appears. The door doesn't even open. He just like comes right through the closed door and is standing right in the middle of them. How do you think they felt? They might have felt a little frightened at first, but once Jesus started talking to them and they knew it was really Jesus, just think about just think how they felt. Just picture yourself there. Think that you're one of those disciples and you're in that room and you're sad and you're scared and then Jesus shows up. Wow. So Jesus showed them his hands and his sign and his side so they would know for sure it was really him, not just somebody that looked like him pretending to be him. It was really him. And then he told them the most wonderful thing. He told them that he wanted them to continue his work. What kind of work did Jesus do? Mm -hmm. He taught people about God. What other things did he do while he was here on earth? He did, he cured a lot of people, didn't he? He helped people who were blind and sick and poor people. And he also forgave sins. And he told his disciples that was the most important of his work was to forgive people's sins. And so the disciples, that is what they did. All right. We'll be hearing a lot more about this as we celebrate our Easter season. But now we are going to finish with our prayer. Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, we rejoice with all of creation because you have risen from the dead. As we celebrate the 50 days of Easter, help us to understand the meaning of your empty tomb. Does not, not have, death does not have the last word. Light will triumph over darkness. Sadness will be conquered by hope. Make us people of life, light and hope and show us how to share our christian joy with others you live and reign with god the father in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen hallelujah in the name of the father and the son the holy spirit amen have a great Thanks week for coming see you next week we hope you enjoyed children's liturgy of the word we're going to end with the psalm Alle, alle, alleluia. We're singing those alleluias for the Easter season. The second verse, it goes, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth. 
Jesus is the life. You'll catch on and it's lots of fun.